BMW's B58 bomber is back, and in its latest LCI revision, we can be grateful that the designers at Bavaria took it a little bit easier on this one, at least for now. At the front, you will notice that the headlights are a lot more skinnier with the snake eye effect in the DRL lights. This makes it look a lot more aggressive. The front bumper over here is also a little bit more angular than the 3 Series it replaces. And overall, I would say that the new 3 Series LCI looks a lot more sportier than the previous model. You will also notice a whole bunch of carbon fiber elements added onto this car. Those are of course optional, yes, and even the mirror caps. The M340i in its standard specification looks a little bit more subdued than this, but I would say that the car looks sporty enough to pass as an M model from a few years ago. And I guess that's why they've had to make the M3 look so garish and outlandish like it does now because this car has M performance to match what would have been BMW M cars from a few years ago. Under the bonnet, you will find BMW's familiar powertrain, the B58, also found in the Toyota Supra. It is a remarkably reliable motor, straight six turbo. This one develops 285 kilowatts and 500 Newton meters. It is undoubtedly the star of the show. And in a chassis like this, it totally comes alive. In fact, I wouldn't really say that you are left wanting for more power, but this being 600,000 Rand cheaper than the M3, if you really want to extract some power with it, you can. These B58s can be worked with just a simple tune, a downpipe, and all of a sudden you're making north of 300 kilowatts. Easy, but I would just leave it standard. More than enough. The steering is incredibly precise. The kind of precision that's nearly telepathy when you're going into corners. The amount of confidence that you can have behind the wheel of this car is absolutely amazing. Once you get into your ideal seating position, might I add the perfect seating position, it's always gonna be the perfect seating position. And this car is also majority rear bias. So that means that you can do little stunts like that. In fact, I would even say that this is the most rear bias out of the C43 and the Audi S5. And that leads me on to describing the way this car feels and where it sits in relation to its competitors because I will right now say that the BMW M340i is the best out of those three. It just 100% is. It combines the build quality and the consistency and refinement of the Audi with that pragmatic feeling of the AMG because that's something that I really like about the C43. I would say that that's a close second for me because the way that that engine works with the nine speed gearbox, the car always feels like it, it feels like it's got AMG injected into its soul. But anyway, this, this review isn't about that. We're talking about the M340i. The B58 feels so strong under my right foot. BMW says that it has 285 kilowatts, but I would be willing to say that they are 100% understating those figures. And for the price that you can buy this car, it's just like the amount of performance that you're getting is incredible. This car is the kind of car that is a, it's a jack of all trades because once I get onto the highway now and I dial it back into comfort, put all of the sports settings off, now I'm just cruising on the motorway in a comfortable three series. And that's probably something that the, the M3 wouldn't be able to do as well. And then when you put this into, into its like most sharpest, aggressive M Sport settings, it really wants to get on and just like, rip your face off, but it's the kind of car that you can dance with because of how much confidence it inspires. I would be a little bit different in the car that I would cross shop this with. I would say its closest competitor is in fact the Audi RS3 sedan, because that's the closest car in terms of the, the, the dancing driving dynamics that you're gonna get to compare to the M340i. And if we're comparing those two, once again, I'm gonna take the M340i. This seriously is one of, if not the best car that I have tested. The car that can balance the, the, the comfort and sporting driving dynamics so well, and nothing does it as good as a BMW 3 Series, and that's just the fact.